Hi everybody, it's Mindy and I am back from the retreat and I have a video for you. It's a combo video, some retreat, I'm going to show you some stuff, talk about it a little bit, whip and chat event, little vlog, all kinds of good stuff in there. Okay, so let's get to it. I'm going to start with showing you some stuff from the retreat. Um, the organizers, myself included, we work you know, for about nine months out of the year to put together a fantastic event for people. Um, and I wanted to show you what that might entail. As I show you some things, let me talk to you a little bit about um, the retreats themselves. Well, first of all, this is our swag bag we came up with this year because this year it was a tropical theme um, and everything was done up tropical. We had like water bottles. See, don't worry, beach happy. That was our theme. We put the labels on the water bottles. But there are a couple of retreats. One is the Great Lakes um, Escape, and that is planned by myself, Jennifer Roberts, Crashly, Crafts with Crashly, the principal painter, and then Jen's mom, who is not a creator. So, um, you know, we try to do really fun things and come up with unique um, themes and prizes, door prizes and things, classes, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you are interested in learning more about the retreats, um, pay attention to those channels I mentioned around August. We'll start talking about it for signups and things like that. Um, the other person who does retreats is Marissa McCartney and hers is in Missouri. And so she would be the person to listen to. She's the crafty heifer on YouTube. So Jen's mom made these for everybody. And if you were um, a participant last year, you got the blue one, the blue logo for 2021. I love that one. It's so pretty. And then this year's Great Lakes Escape 2022. So you got this one as well. I haven't taken my little paper off the back. This brown paper comes off the back, but I haven't taken it off yet. So this is your basic swag bag um, with the beach theme. It's perfect, right? So let me show you some. Oh, this is not swag. This goes in the other thing. I put my swag in it, but let's take it out. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you this one in a minute and tell you what that is. That goes over there. Okay, so we had special stickers made this year. Um, a special pair of scissors for everybody with a fob on it so you can clip it to whatever you want to clip it to, not lose it, protect yourself. Those are pretty cool. Um, let's see, what else did we provide? Let's see, we provided a little bag of goodies. So in your bag of goodies, you got a mini cutter. There's some more stickers, a pen. This is just a regular writing utensil. Okay. A little tape measure. Who doesn't love these little tape measures? And there's a, a threader. I love this. This is what I'm excited about, right? To help you thread your needles and things like that. So that's pretty cool. And then there's some mints in there. So that was just a little bag of goodies that we purchased and made a little bag for you. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, I don't have my shirt. I'll have to throw my shirt in later in the video. Here's another item that was provided by, by the organizers. Um, these are, how do I open it? These are like a keeper, a roll keeper. You can put crochet hooks in it. You could put diamond painting pens in here. It's got a pocket here. It's got some pockets. You can see that they're stitched here. So you can put like a crochet hook in here or you could put pens in there. See? And then you roll them all up, keep them all neat and tidy. Look, you could even hang your scissors in here if you wanted to off that little hook. So those are pretty cool. I like that. Um, what else was ours? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That might be it. If I find anything else, I'll let you know. Okay, the rest of this is provided by generous, wonderful sponsors. They could either uh, donate an item for the swag bag, which is one for everybody, or door prizes. All right, so let's show you some of the things we got. Um, this came from Carol O'Brien Diamond Painting. We all got some sort of a metal tip um, or a straightener. There's some multi-placers or single tips. There was just a different combination of things. Storm Sister Studios provided a swag item for everyone. Let me show you what it is. I'll show you their card. Jane and Dawn, thank you so much. 
and they made like a little drill caddy or a wax caddy and they were all beach themed. This is resin they put on the top and these little tins you can put whatever you'd like in there. You can put a magnet on the back, make it a, a cover minder trash tray, you know, whatever you like to do with it. Cute, right? Cute. I'm going to try to go through this quickly, not make this like 25 minutes long. You know what I mean? <laughs> what else we have? Um, Jenny, O Snap Crafters Cafe. She got a cover minder for every single person. So that's in your swag bag. All right. Um, let's see. What is this one? What is this one? Oh, that was a gift. Sorry, that was a gift. <laughs> Um, Amy from Craftably made pens, these rubber band pens, and she made them in many, many different designs. There were two of each one. And your goal throughout the weekend was to find your matching pen buddy. That was kind of fun, right? Yeah. So thank you, Amy, for those. Let's see. This came from Crystal Canvas Art. Now there were, uh, Crystal Canvas Art donated for swag and door prizes. And I'll show you the door prize in a little bit. But they donated like some partial special drill things or you maybe got a painting like this or a notebook or there was like some gift tags. So they donated that for us. And then Bella Art de Nicole. <sighs> Amazing. We got trays. They just had an array of colors and you got to choose a color. And then they made these awesome coasters. I love these. Great Lakes Escape 2022, there's the lakes. And we've talked about, if you just took a little bit of blue resin and put them in there and made the lakes blue, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, somebody's gonna do that. Let me know when you do that. I wanna see what it turned out like. <laughs> and then Saban, um, Coverminder Saban, she sent some Coverminders for door prizes and then she gave people, everybody, another one. She's so sweet. I mean, she's, she went above and beyond. So this is the one that I got. I got this fish. There were like three different fish and there was a flamingo. Flamingo is a hot commodity. Let me tell you, people were trading and making deals for the flamingo, <laughs> but the fish is cool as well. Fish is really cool. So there's that. And then I don't know where this came from. I think that came with a purchase. Maybe I don't know. And then Crashly. Crashly made everybody a pen, personalized pen, which is cool. Look at all oh, the beachy theme here and it had your name on it. Isn't that cool? Pretty nifty, huh? And I have to show you my shirt later. Um, there's one more item. These were gifts. Like I said, those were gifts. Oh, we got some tattoos. There's some tattoos in there. Okay. You slide over there. And then let's move this box up here. There's more swag in here. So this is the other swag item. Let's see if I can get it out of the box. Um, we had these metal. I got a flower. Majority of them were pineapples. We started with pineapples and we couldn't find enough pineapples. So we started getting flowers. And then we made these cute little name tags and you had them on a lay at first. And then you could move it to your, your cover minder holder, or some people were just wearing them on their shirts. And that was kind of cool. Different colors. Everything was just different on the back. Oh, that's a gift. Huh. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it for the like actual swag. No, that's not right. That's not right. I'm sorry. I told you, um, Amy and Jen from crystal canvas got everybody a full crystal diamond painting. I chose the flip-flops. There was, oh my gosh, there was an ice cream cone, a turtle, a seahorse, an octopus. I think that might've been it, but those are so cool. They're a nice size. They're just like a, you know, narrow kind of, they're not huge or anything, but they're super cute. Again, lots of trading went on for those. So people could, you know, trade with each other. <laughs> That was fun too. That was fun. All right. And then another swag item was a custom diamond painting of our retreat logo. And this was from Treasure Studios Arts. There were round or square. And you know, 
people just traded to get what they wanted, you know, things like that. But aren't those cute? And then Tina from um, Diamond Painting with Sparklers created special sets of drills, like enhancement drills for these. And so you could go buy those in her shop. And I bought my enhancement drills. So some of them are AB, some are rhinestones. And she actually went through and she told you what to replace where and things like that. See, here's our little cheat sheet. And then like that one's an AB, that one's an AB, that's a rhinestone, AB and rhinestone. Cool, right? Oh, you guys, it was so much fun. I will say, I mean, I'm an organizer and I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but it's not my horn. It's, it's the wonderful sponsors and the relationships we have made with companies that have businesses. They are just fantastic. They're fantastic. Um, so one of the other things we do is something called white elephant and that's at the very beginning that's fun that's when you can throw something either funny or i mean they can be serious gifts but we just trade their surprises and this was mine i ended up with a little um self-care kit <laughs> right little self-care items including cookies right what else did i get oh there's two of the two of these i i have no idea I have no idea what this is. Tea tree blotting papers and then a nail polish. My gift got stolen three times, I think. Yeah, there was some stealing going on. <laughs> That's what makes it fun though, right? So that was my white elephant gift. All right. Then another thing that we do is um, a secret Santa. We bring six gifts for a person who is our person. We're their secret Santa. And throughout the course of the weekend, we give them their gifts and we have to sneak them to them, you know, sneak them, sneak them over there, get them to them. <laughs> so let me show you, and then I'll tell you who my secret, my secret Santa was. All right. Uh, I think I put some extra things in here. What did I put in here? So here's one of the first things I got. These are cool. They're metal. Look, it says seeds. What did I store in here? I stored something in here. Oh yeah. The candy. She gave me candy. Lots of candies. All right. Candy, 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 right? So these will actually be cool. I actually can put my seeds in there, right? My seed packets. I got this. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, right? Put your pens in there and stuff. <laughs> Love it. Kind of fit the theme, right? All right, what else did I get from my secret Santa? I got some gardening things. Huh? I came home and Dale was like, yep, I need that. He like took off with it. <laughs> Eh, we need a new one. We really do. And this is a seed roll. Like you can just plant it like this and flowers will grow. I'm going to try that and see if that works, right? That sounds fun. What else? What else? Secret Santa. Secret Santa. Oh, this guy's heavy. Look at him. Do, do, do. <laughs> He's definitely going outside somewhere. Isn't he cute? <laughs> and then there's this one. I mean, you know, you put down... There's a little survey, you put down things you like, candies, things, teams, and then your secret Santa can go to town, find you all kinds of cool stuff. So look at there. <laughs> so that's a secret Santa gift. Uh, what else is a secret Santa gift? Oh, this one, that, oh, there goes my stuff. These, okay, highlight, highlight. <laughs> you might know who this is by now if you watch Lizzie, <laughs> Lizzie from Canada. I am part of the gnome, gnome army. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Love it. So I got some gnomes there. I think that's it for my secret Santa gifts. I think that's all of them, but how cute, right? Cute, cute, cute. All right. Oh, this, one of my gifts that got stolen from me, the person gave me back the towel because they were like, I know you really just wanted the snowman towel. <laughs> so even though they stole my gift, they gave me this. <laughs> Wasn't that sweet? Oh boy. And then, um, just assorted things. Um, this was a gift from a friend. This is so cool. Look, a bunch of candy. And these are crocheted dishcloths and some washi tape. Thank you, Ashley. I've never had a crocheted, um, so, you know, some people give little gifts to their friends and things like that. That, you know, that's totally up to every individual. I got a little baggie with my Enablers Outpost pen I bought. I can't show you that yet, though. It went back home with Elizabeth. Edward. Edward needs to do a little um, fine-tuning to it. <laughs> 
So I'll get that. I'll get that. Like Chris and Kel made everybody a little baggie of goodies. There's a sticker, some washi tape, an Oreo. Chris and Kel, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. They gave one to everybody. They're wonderful. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, Abigail gave me some Swax caulk to try out. Thank you, Abigail. And then I bought, I bought this from Jamie and Nicole. It was their, one of their new colors. It's galactic something. I don't know what it's called, but it's so pretty. It's so sparkly and purple. Can you see the sparkles in it? It's gorgeous. Look at it. It's beautiful. Had to have one of those. So I bought one of those. And then I think I'm down to um, my door prize. Well, actually, Kerwin let me try one of these. This smells like strawberries and cream. They sell this in their shop. I will try to remember to link as many people as I can down below that were kind and generous. And, and everybody who picked a door prize got to choose a little cover minder. We had a couple people that donated cover minders and we put them all together and said, hey, everybody can get one, right? And then this one came from Saban, <laughs> right? And we used um, Saban's cover minders to go with Diamond Art Club gift cards. And that was what my door prize was. I got a $25 gift card from Diamond Art Club and a cover minder from Saban. All right, uh, I'll show you my shirt in a minute. And then um, I'll put in some clips, a little vlog style retreat stuff, and then we'll do a little whip and chat. All right, so let me get my shirt, I'll show you that, and then we'll move on to the next part. Here is our amazing shirt. <laughs> We kind of started with the tie-dyed theme last year and we've kind of we stuck with it this time but there's that logo it's pretty cool right everybody got a shirt and then on the back is all of the sponsors so thank you to all of these wonderful sponsors they may have been swag or they may have been door prizes get it up there so you can see everybody <laughs> um and they it was just amazing we had such wonderful things it was awesome so Thank you so much to everyone. And, uh, you know, in a couple months, we'll start doing it all over again. <laughs> we'll start planning the next one. <laughs> so let me show you some clips from the retreat and then we'll settle down and we'll do a little whip and chat. I'm ready to go. Yep, computer, my luggage, mm, diamond painting stuff. Mm-hmm. But here's the fun part. Uh, yeah, here's all the stuff for you guys. Well, not all of it. But yeah, my car is like packed to the hilt, to the hilt. I actually, I'm taking some diamond paintings to sell and I actually asked a friend if she could take them for me. <laughs> Anyhow, I can't really fit much more in this car. Anyhow, I'm on my way. I just have to go um, let the chickens and the ducks out and I need to stop at the bank. Let me get my trusty broom here, because, you know, I go see the chickens and the ducks with broom. And it's hot. Hot as Billy Blazes out here. So, I'm on my way. I need to make one stop, and that's to pick up some cash. So, after that, I'm good to go. All right, I'll see everybody soon. Uh, I got a lot of work ahead of me yet, setting things up and whatnot, but we'll see everybody soon. I'm here. It's out in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely in the middle of nowhere. So this is the Heritage Inn at uh, Souter Village is where we're staying. So I'm about to go up and find out where the room is and get checked in and get the lay of the land and then unload my car in 95 degree weather. 95. Ugh. I'm here. We're inside. This is the bathroom, little closet. Uh, connect to another room here if you'd like. This is our room. We got two beds here. Um, we got a TV, fridge. There's my cherries. Little table with a lamp. Look at the look at the view. What do we have out the window? Cornfield. <laughs> yeah, nothing out there but cornfield and country highway and stuff. Yeah, okay, so this is where we're at for a few days. It's nice. I'm gonna go explore the rest of the place, so I'll let you know what I find when I get downstairs, okay? 
Alrighty, talk to you soon. This is what a hot mess it looks like to start. We just got junk everywhere. Junk everywhere. Stuff way back there. Stuff over here. Stuff over here. Yeah, we got a lot to do. Oh, and it is already. I don't know what time it is. Let's see. It's getting late. Six, seven. I don't know. Seven. Oh, we got a lot to do. Okay, we got to get busy. All right, I got to go now. I got to start taking care of stuff. Organizing. All right. We're here. We are ready. The retreat is about to begin. Woo! And we're going to let the mad crowd in. Yay! Here they come. Here they come. come on. Here they come. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> here they are. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Look at everybody, the gang is all here. Hello. Ready to have some fun? All righty. Find a spot. Find a spot. Okay. People watching the video, right? Hi, everybody. She's amazing. Hey, Cal. How you doing, Cal? I just get the back of Jenny's head, though. This is so sorry. <laughs> and then the back of Abigail's head. Studio live audience. Studio live audience. There goes Mary. Say bye, Mary. Bye. bye. Mary. So Shani's over here. Close up of Shani's okay. nose. <laughs> Can anyone name the mystery food on Mystery's plate? <laughs> Just, you let me know if you figure out what it is. You won't guess. You will not guess. Brandy? No, you won't, you won't, you'll never figure it out. You want me to tell you what it is? No, nope, they're going to guess. I'll tell them in a later, I'll tell it's them. It's really good. Okay, go ahead. Hang on, go ahead. Tell them what you, I, I'll tell, let me tell them what I think it is first. Okay. It looks like a meal that someone has already eaten and disposed of already. Now tell them what it is. It's baked potato with chili, cheese, sour cream, and cheese and cornbread. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it, Maddie? Have you seen it? I just want to mix it up so that it's easier to eat. Huh? See? <laughs> well. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you have it, folks. Yum. It's only missing broccoli. <laughs> no, I don't like broccoli. I don't either. Thank God. <laughs> this is one amazing group of people that box. I've spent the, the weekend with. The week. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you could show up to this wonderful event. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello. Thank you for being here. I go like this. Thank you for being here. Yeah. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you came to my party. I'm glad you're here. Hi. Hello. Aren't they beautiful? They're all so lovely. They're just so gorgeous. Thank you, everybody. What do you mean? I'm going to do my live at eight o'clock like I always do. What are you talking about? Yeah, so is my finger though. <laughs> Why is my finger in front of me? Because I can't do selfies. Look, oh. how do you do it? I got you your take right now. You can press one of these. You're doing a video. You're doing a video picture. You can take one of them. You're doing a video. You know people love the retreat and the things they got when they make a cute little display of their items. Look it. Deborah's got her cover minders, her name tag, everything. Look at how cute. And look, everybody got one of these with their name on it. And look it, let me just tell you this. She has also done half or more of this diamond painting this weekend. You're a, you're a, you got a lot done last time too. I did. She I is quite it. the diamond painter. Awesome. It's so cute. Love it. All right. So now we're here for the whip and chat portion of this video. So I'm going to try not to bump my tripod here, but it's right here. So 
trying to be careful. Hang on. Let me scooch in. All right. Let me get ready to go here. And now that I'm all settled here, now my tripod's really in the way for what I'm trying to do. Anyhow. Oh, you know. So I had to use my new tray, right? Had to use the new tray. The Bella Art to Nicole tray. Had to. Had to. Um just dawned on me, I'm missing something from my own swag bag. Huh, there's another tray I'm missing. I didn't get one. Huh, well, I'll have to see if uh, Jennifer has one she can send me. Archer's Arts. Archer's Arts donated a tray with our logo in it. I don't have one. Huh, I guess that's what happens. I didn't look at my swag bag till I got home. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure there's an extra one that um, can head my way. All right, so I'm working on my Craftably now for my Craftably Craze 2022 event, right? That's what we're doing now. So got my little sticker here. This is what I'm working on. She's gorgeous. It's a Jody Bergsma. She's huge. It's called Long Live Magic. She's gorgeous. I did get, um, I got one release paper section done at the retreat. Yeah, <laughs> right. So I was happy with that. I got one whole paper done. I'm looking for a symbol. What do I want? I want number one. There we go. Which is 50, which is this mint. A lot of this mint color. We're going to work on that for a little bit. All right. Um, I did work on this. I worked on a crystal canvas art square painting for a while. So I switched to that after the first day. I worked on this first, then the crystal canvas. Um, then I worked on some keychains, and of course there was just a lot of um, doing other things, taking classes. I taught an advanced crochet class, which turned out really, really good. I think everybody had a good time doing that. That was fun. Um, and then I attended the quilling, paper quilling class, and Amy from Craftably taught that. She did a fine job with that. That was fun. Learned how to make some of those shapes that you use in quilling all the time. And then we just kind of uh, freehanded whatever we wanted to do after that. But that was fun. And I learned a lot. Um, some of the other classes, there was two other classes. One was um, mandala rock painting. And that was um, like zoomed or stream yarded or something with Deborah Malcolm as the instructor. I did not attend that class, but I saw some of the rocks. They turned out lovely. And then paint pouring and Jennifer taught that class. And some of those were very, very pretty as well. So those were our classes and we had just a good time um, attending the classes. Um, when you come to one of our retreats, it's not like you are, you know, it's not mandatory. You have to attend classes. There's nothing that's mandatory. It's your retreat. It's your experience. It's your good time. You do what you want to do. I know that some people left with friends to go like have a lunch or wander around or, you know, just do different things. And that is just wonderful. I mean, People are, are, you know, having a good time, doing what they want to do, having the experience that they want to have. The vendors were amazing. I think we had nine or ten tables of vendors selling product, which was amazing. Um, besides the ones that I've already mentioned to you, let's see who else was there. I'm kind of going around the table. Um, Kerwin and Crashly had a table. Sparklers had a table, Craftably, who comes next? Um, Jenny, um, Jenny had things there. Um, um, Abigail Marie had some things there for sale. Enablers Outpost, that's where I got my new pen. I'll show that to you when I get it, it's so pretty. Um, and of course, Bella Art and Nicole had trays and towers and all kinds of fun things there that they were selling. They actually brought a 3D printer to the retreat, you guys. Um, and then Donnie had some cover minders and pens and things. And um, Mariola sells things like um, she does tumblers that she puts crystals all over and pictures. And she had different things like that for sale. So it was amazing. All I took was some diamond paintings. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> 
but it was a great time. It was fun. I look forward to doing it again next year. Um, I've heard that this one was epic. I don't know what we're going to do to top epic, but <laughs> you know, we're going to have to start thinking because, uh, you know, epic is, uh, you know, that's some high standards right there. So I have to start thinking about what we can do to make it epic 2.0 or something. I don't know. But it was great. The food was wonderful. Um, the venue, this is a new venue for us, and we just loved it. It's beautiful. It's in the middle of nowhere, Ohio. That's where I call it. Middle of nowhere, Ohio. So pretty, though. Inside the hotel itself, there were what I would call these little nooks where they would just have a little kind of quiet place, but there would be chairs, um, a fountain, a little pond, some fish, just all these little nooks and crannies throughout that was, you know, just fun to like find those. Um, that's where I did my live. Oh, oh, I did my live on Saturday night, you guys. If you have not watched that live, <laughs> it is one of the best lives ever. I did have um, quite a few of our sponsors on and had some real fun and frivolity on that live. If you haven't checked it out, I will link it below. With all the other things I'm telling you, I'm gonna link below, right? But it was, it was something, it was fun. There was friends and guests and sponsors and they're, they're friends and guests too, but you know what I mean? It was just, a, it was a great, great time. So you might want to check that out, right? Check that out. So it was wonderful, just wonderful. We had an awesome time. I'm certain you will start to see some other creators putting videos out there of their experiences, vlogging or whatever they're going to do. So look for those and you can get, you know, a different um, perspective their views, their points of view, their experiences. So it's just wonderful. Like I said, in um, August, you know, start paying attention if you're interested in the retreat experience to see when signups might be, if it's something that you're interested in doing. So yeah, great, great time meeting great people. That is the best part of the whole thing, honestly, is meeting people. Meeting people that I know um, from my comment sections of my videos or lives that they attend. Sorry, all these are too high, too high up. Um, getting to meet them face to face and talk with them and sit with them and laugh and joke with them. That's the best part of the whole thing, honestly. The prizes and everything are fun and great. But meeting these people, that is, that's the best. It's just the best. Um, nobody leaves there without a ton of new friends, you know? We all make just a ton of really good, close, nice friends. Tight groups. I mean, just, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, that's that. Hmm. You know, I may, over the next few weeks, still remember things I throw in from time to time. But for now, I think that's all I have retreat-wise. So, anyhow. Craftably Crazed 2022. This is my week to do a giveaway. I will put um, somewhere in this weapon chat, I'm going to put the prize, which was generously donated by Craftably. Um, they basically gave each of us the same prize and it's an amazing amazing gift prize you know it's a gift prize yes it's a gift prize <laughs> but it's amazing they are the most generous kind people they're wonderful so let me show you my craftably prize for the giveaway thank you michael and amy so much for supporting our event um and supporting the retreat, everything you guys do. Thank you so much. So let me show you what they are um, donating for us to give to you. So a light pad, right? 
a light pad. It is a nice A4 light pad. Here's your adapter, instructions, and the light pad is in here. As you can see, I'm not going to unbox it or unpackage it in any way. I want to leave it just like that, nicely protected in there. Your cords underneath. Love it. That's an awesome prize. Thank you. That in and of itself would be great, but did they stop there? No, because, you know, if you guys know Michael at all, Michael, he just kind of, he likes to do things up big. <laughs> so let me show you what else. This is a nice little case. I actually have one of these. It's a nice little case you can put that light pad in to protect it for travel and stuff. And it has a nice little pocket here in the front that you can store things in, pens, uh, wax, whatever you need. And you can just take off with your light pad and your supplies and you're ready to go. So there's that. Is that it? No, no, that is not it. No. <laughs> they also donated a wonderful notebook. I love the notebooks. That one looks really pretty. I like that. And I'll, oh, look at those gems right there. Pa pow, right? Rhinestones. How pretty, right? So you get a notebook, journal type product. Is that it? No, this I'll open up just to get out the, this is keychains. And if you've never done keychains, oh my gosh, they're so fun. I worked on a set of keychains at the retreat. I almost got them done, almost. And so as you can tell, these are owls. Look, cute little owls. I don't know how many there are in there, five or six maybe. And all the drills for them. Nice, love it, perfect. And one more item. And if you've been watching my other co-host, you've probably already seen these items. Look at, it's a pen, right? A nice drill pen. Look at that. So that is your awesome prize from Craftably. Thank you so much. Please support my friends. They are wonderful. I am so honored to have got to spend time with them. They came last year as well, and I just love spending time with them, meeting them. They're awesome. Love them dearly. Thank you, Michael and Amy. Alrighty, that's the prize. So it could be yours. Remember, you're going to have to comment, right? Follow the directions. <laughs> All right. So look for that. I'm going to just pop it in here somewhere in my ramblings. So I think that um, Brandy and Kara have already had their week for their giveaway and announced it and possibly given it away already. I know that we were all at the retreat, so some of that may be just a little delayed because we were gone for, you know, four or five days. But if you haven't heard about winners or anything yet, just, you know, be patient, stay tuned. It's coming. Um, and it is my week to announce a winner. So um, what do I want you to do? I just want you to comment below like, hey, I love Craftably or I haven't tried Craftably or I hope, I mean, I hope you're trying Craftably because you're doing the event with us. But, you know, let me know your thoughts, your opinions, what your favorite Craftably is or if it's your first one or, you know, just something about Craftably um, and your painting. All right. There's that. Okay. Um... Next week, I'll give away my prize. And then at the end of the month, we're going to have a live where we give away the grand prize, which is, of course, a Craftably gift card. Um, having sat with them and talked with them this weekend, I do know that those pre-orders are getting much closer. They are um, within a few days of being able to ship, like the printing process is getting close to complete on those kits. So they're getting closer to shipping time. Um, don't quote me, but I think Michael said maybe like another couple weeks of printing and then they'll be shipping to Craftably. Not to us yet, but to Craftably. So we're looking at probably end of July to start receiving those kits. And I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait. I'm going to let this one out of the bag. I don't know, Michael. I don't think he'll get mad at me. He said that there are a few paintings that have like six ABs and six crystals in them. I was like, say what? Say what? Okay, I need to know what painting that is. <laughs> I don't know if it's one I ordered or not, but I need to know because I need a kit that's six crystals and six ABs. How about you? Right? Wow. So anyhow, they're they're getting closer. They're, they're really getting closer. 
and they're about to, you know, depart from China here soon and head to Texas. So hold on just a little bit longer, folks. It's getting close now. I can smell it in the air. I can feel it. <laughs> getting super excited about it, you know. All right. Um, anything else? Thank you for posting all of your pictures on Instagram. I try to go in every couple days and look at what you're posting. Don't forget, it's just hashtag craftablycrazed22. Post your pictures there. That's where the grand prize drawing will be drawn from. Remember, it is one picture per week. You know, just one per week. Um, a progress picture. If it was your week one, you can do a startup picture and a progress picture. Other than that, though, it's just one progress each week. And I'm seeing some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things. Um, it was kind of fun to be at the retreat and see so many people that were working on craftablies, to see ones that I have that I haven't worked on yet, to see how they're looking, how they're turning out. That was fun. Even seeing some that I don't have and seeing how those are turning out. Like somebody was working on um, the tiger one and I was like, Ugh. You know, I have the Tiger one kitted up, ready to go. It's out of the box, it's ready to go. And I debated for a hot second about changing my mind and doing that one instead of this one. And I kind of wish, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not saying I wished I would have, but it just makes me want to do that one like really, really bad because she's turning out so, so pretty. Anyhow, there's that as well. So it was fun to watch that. Um, I think that's it for the event. I hope you're having a great time doing a craftably diamond painting. They are pretty amazing, right? They're pretty amazing. You notice I've got a few here that are like conjoined twins. <laughs> that is one of the only things I'm really finding with um, some of the drills. They're conjoined, whatever. Okay, mine is a square drill kit. So, you know, there's that. Um, one other thing I would like to do before I go is I would like to thank some very, very kind, loving people um, for giving me for for giving me some coffees or kofis, however you want to say that. They contributed and they were so kind and their words and their sentiments were just heartfelt. And I would like to thank those people. And that would be um, Nikki and Shay, Toner, Susan, and Nancy. Ladies, thank you so much for those coffees, those Kofi donations. Um, I leave them right in my PayPal, and that's what I use for purchases and things, is my PayPal, my balance in my PayPal account. So when I purchase something to show everybody, it's coming right from those funds. I never even transfer that to my my personal account. I just leave it there to use it. So thank you so much. It really, really does help. And it just, you know, your comments sometimes really are touching, you know, and appreciated so much. Um, it's never ever something that I expect in any way, but it's always touching when you do that. On that note, I would like to say this. I have added, I got the um, notification that I could do thank yous for videos. And I have not personally done a thank you for anybody, but I'm going to try that and see how it works. Because underneath every video now of mine is just a little button that just says thank you. And if you click on it, you can go in and it just is like a $2 donation maybe. I think you could do more, but... I think $2 is like the starting donation. And it's just a way to say thank you for that video. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um, thank you for showing us what you just showed us kind of thing. So, and, you know, again, not saying I'm looking for, you know, money or anything, but it does help to know what you are enjoying, which content you like. And that's just another way to show that. So I'm just putting that out there as an option and um, letting you know that's there. And again, anybody who chooses to do that, it's greatly appreciated in more ways than one. You know, monetary is not the only thing. Your feedback is always important. 
um, we as creators, you know, we don't we don't read minds and we don't know what everybody really, really likes unless you say something. So that's what that's about. Um, members, members, I know I'm way behind. I'm going to do a double, double giveaway here soon. I know I owe for, gosh, do I owe mm, April and May? Maybe. I have to go back and look and see which month I did last, but I know I'm behind and I will get all that caught up. I will get names into the scroll at the end. I've got to redo all that. Um, I'll get to that now that life is a little, I will say just a little more calm. There's still a lot of things I need to help, you know, my dad do and things, but it's a little, little more settled, I guess. It's the only way I can put it. But I'll be getting to the thing. My responsibilities here now, you know, look for membership, membership giveaways and things like that. All right. Um, anything else? You know, I always film these, and then when I'm done, I'm like, I forgot this, or I forgot that. <laughs> I always do it. It just doesn't. It doesn't matter how much I write down, how much I plan. I I go, darn, I forgot something. As soon as I'm done filming, I'm like, darn. No, it's usually after I have put it all together, edited it, and uploaded, and then I'm like, ah. Shoot, I forgot that. <laughs> so anyhow, I really think that's all I have for now. I appreciate you guys so much. You're wonderful. You're great supporters. Um, the only reason I do it is because of, of you guys and wanting to do things for you and show you things and give you little tips and tricks and advice or whatever I got, you know, just maybe it's just entertainment, you know. You get to see Chuck, you get to see the chickens and the birds, and you get to hear funny stories and, you know, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it, and that's why I do it, okay? All right, I think I'm done. I'm going to go now, and uh, time to edit and upload. This one's going to be a monster, right? I got lots and lots of, lots and lots of pieces <laughs> for this one, <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. And um, again, just thank you. Thank you so much. I'll be talking to you soon. And don't forget your comment for your chance to win the fabulous gift from Craftably. All right. Talk to you soon, everybody.